Roll down my window pane Tell me who you are Notice we're not the same But I need you in my arms, girl Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? This is Jacob from JC TechSpot here, and today I'm coming at you with another jailbreak update video. So essentially, what I'm going to be doing today is explaining where we are in terms of jailbreaking, where Apple is in terms of jailbreaking, and pretty much what you can do to set yourself up for the newest iOS 10 jailbreak. Now, so many of us have been waiting for a very long time for the iOS 10 jailbreak. It's actually been about three months if um, and since, you know, a jailbreak. It's probably been even a little more since a jailbreak has dropped, actually. Now that you think about it, right now the only current jailbreak is the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak. That was released, I believe it was in August or September. Um, so yeah, it actually has been a lot longer than a lot of us think. It's been about uh, three months, uh, approximately. Uh, three to four months, probably. Um, but, you know, either way, um, that is the latest jailbreak right now. And, you know, we've seen all these tweets, all these things have been released by jailbreak teams saying, you know, we're hoping that we're going to be getting out, you know, the iOS 10 jailbreak very soon. But no one's ever really stepped up to the plate and taken over on this whole project. Well, we have some huge news in the jailbreaking community. If we'll focus your attention over to the computer screen um, right here, this is actually a tweet from Luca Tedesco himself. If you remember him, he was definitely a huge factor in the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak, as well as a lot of previous jailbreaks in the past. And so basically, he tweeted that there is a high chance that we'd ever, that whatever essentially Project Zero drops and write a full jailbreak on top of it. So now, what does this mean? Well, essentially, although I don't have it up here on the screen, Project Zero is another group that kind of works with tech and jailbreaking. And one of the things that they basically dropped was some coding that basically found the exploits in Apple's uh, recent iOS 10.1.1. I know it's not the latest, but we'll get to that in a minute. Basically, they found the exploits in iOS 10.1.1, which allows uh, I, uh, iOS 10.1.1 to be jailbroken. And essentially, what Luca Tedesco, he uh, made this tweet a couple days ago on the 15th of December, said that whenever, you know, when Project Zero drops what they have, he's going to work on it and pro hope to write a full jailbreak. So he's basically telling all Apple users that if you're looking to jailbreak and you are on uh, iOS 10.1.1, which is what the jailbreak is expected, stay on it and don't update. If you've already updated to iOS 10.2, don't worry, there is a solution. So basically, guys, this is huge news in the jailbreaking community. I mean, like, this basically tells us that we're going to be most likely seeing a jailbreak coming soon. Now, he did say that it's just a high chance. So this is not 100% likely that Luca Tedesco himself will come forward with a jailbreak. But hopefully, we can see, you know, essentially what's coming forward. We can see what's for the future. And this should work on all 64-bit devices. Either way, in a minute... I'm going to get to showing you guys how you can set yourself up for the best possible way to be jailbroken. So um, what you're going to want to do is essentially you're going to want to go down to the link that's in the description. I will put that. Uh, it's going to be under IPSW downloads. And it's going to come up to this little site here. So what you're going to do is you're basically just going to find your device. So for me, I'm actually using an iPhone 5S. So we're going to go ahead and uh, basically you're just finding your device. So you're going to click on either iPhone, iPod, or iPad. So we're going to go ahead and click iPhone. Then you're basically going to choose which one yours is. So all you're going to do is you're just going to scroll through. Most, I believe, phones in the United States are the GSM. So if you see, you know, the same phone twice, uh, like the iPhone 5S Global and the GSM, you're usually just going to want to go ahead and click GSM, especially if you know you have a SIM card. So I'm going to go ahead and click GSM. And basically, right up here, it'll give you all the versions that are currently being signed. So as you can see, um, right now, uh, everything from iOS 10.1 above to 10.2 are being signed. The one that you actually want is 10.1.1, and you want to get the latest build. So you want to get the 14B150 build, which is the latest build. came out about eight, day, eight to nine days after the original and 10.1.1 was dropped. So you're going to go ahead and click on it right here. The little, Make sure it's green. So basically, then you're going to want to go ahead and click download. And so this is actually a pretty big file, so it's going to take a good amount of time. It's about uh, 2 gigabytes big. Uh, it doesn't, shouldn't take too long, but it will take a good chunk of time. So you're just going to go ahead and wait for that to download, and once it downloads, I'll tell you what to do from there. Okay, so now that that has finished downloading, all you're going to want to do is make sure your phone is connected to your computer via the USB lightning cable, and you're going to want to go ahead into your iCloud settings on your phone and make sure that Find My iPhone is turned off. Okay, so now that Find My iPhone has been turned off, you're going to want to go ahead and focus your attention to your computer screen. And what you're going to do is you're going to go on your computer, hold down your shift key, and press the restore iPhone button. What it should do is it should essentially bring up 
um, a, a list of the firmware that you've downloaded. As you can see, this is what we downloaded recently, 10.1.1 file. And essentially, you're just going to want to go ahead and click it and hit open. So all you have to do now is follow the steps that it prompts you through, and you should be good to go. It will successfully downgrade your device from 10.2 or upgrade from nine from any version of iOS 8 or 9, basically to 10.1.1, which is the firmware that we should be expecting a jailbreak on soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like on the video if this helped you at all. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more jailbreak updates, and thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.